Hi guys, just been going through some of the junk on my desk and found that. So I'll just tell you what it is. I do a lot of solar projects using the components from these solar fluttering butterfly uh, garden ornaments. I got quite a few of them probably a couple of years ago now from 99p store, so as you can guess they were 99p each. I do see them occasionally in garden shops for quite a bit more money, so I was obviously getting a good deal getting them at 99 pence. Um, this one's a slightly different shaped solar panel, but it's the same basic thing. You've got a little electric motor there that spins round and makes the butterfly flutter around. Now this one was in the garden for a year or so and has stopped working. It's a bit loose there as well. So I thought I'd take it apart and see if we can figure out why it doesn't work. It's either the solar panel is cracked or the wires are broken, which is possible if that's loose like that, or it's just rusted up inside because the rain gets to them, obviously. So I'll tidy this one up again, and then we'll take that one apart. Right, so, screwdriver. We're a bit rusty on the end, but they're coming out alright. I may have actually looked at this in one of my other videos. It's a bit rusty. That's a good start. Let's see if I can push the motor through. Oh well. <laughs> Whether the wires were broken or not, I've broken them now pushing that through. But it doesn't look very healthy, does it? <laughs> I wonder if we can connect onto those two bits. Right, I've tagged a couple of wires onto the little stubs that were sticking out. Not a lot happening. Right, oil didn't make any difference, so we might as well see if we can get it open. If I just release the little bits that are bent in to hold the back in place. It's just where they've crimped the edge of the case. Backs off. While I've got the back off, I should also be able to rerun these wires up to the ends of the brushes. I need to clean those brushes a bit, I think. Well, I've just surprised myself. <laughs> I've put a bit of tape on the front there so you can actually see. We fixed it. Or at least it works. <laughs> oh, I'm pleased with that. So, next thing is... Let me see if we've got any power coming out of the cell. I'll have to extend those wires too. 
I pieced the wires out. And we're getting about a volt, just over a volt from it. Don't know if that's enough to run that little motor. Because it really needs full sunlight, not just the lights I've got here. I've extended all the wires again, connected them up to the motor. I've got a halogen light just off the side of the camera here. So if I put the panel in front of it, it works. I'm pleased with that. I didn't expect success. I thought it was too far gone. And you don't often manage to get these apart and back together again in working condition. Ah, success. Job done.